roll up, ladies and gentlemen, and what do I have for you today? Shall I tell you all about it? Yes, you should. Tin tomatoes. Tin tomatoes. Tin tomatoes. Tin tomatoes. If you like your tomatoes in a tin. Risotto made with rice from cauliflower. Such a lovely taste. Such a lovely taste. Such a lovely taste. Nakamura and Riddle beat the Russos. I gave Russos. that a six because I'm I'd gonna... have given that a ten if they beat the Russos. Rock's daughter is going to be a wrestler. She's Simone. Did she say she's Simone or she's Simone? Her name is Simone. Okay. Not anymore, though. I see. Because yes. I was going to say she's still Simone. What she's is the new right. name? Please tell me it's the Rockette. <laughs> no. It's right there. Sangha versus Lee. Stands on Lee's chest when she's down. Bangs her, uh, her on the apron. Pull, um, puts elbow on her chin. Threw her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, yeah. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend time, versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A that. little guy? It's now wrong. Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. <laughs> no. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> Brian Rose is remembering his investment in MJF coin. I lost more money on that than if I'd been at his meet and greet. You what? There's nothing open. Fuck, let's just try this America Diner. There's, there's a line there, too, but it's not that long. Eh, it'll be about uh, 10 minutes. So we're like, ah, it's only 10 minutes. Let's just wait. So, of course, you know, shortly thereafter, they go. Uh, it's actually going to be about, you know, she actually said this, 12 minutes. Like, All right, well, we'll wait. It was not 12 minutes. I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm such a mark. She brought my chicken sandwich. I wanted cheese and mayonnaise. And there was just nothing on it. She goes, oh, did you need cheese? I said, no, just give me it. I'll eat it like this. His poor fucking burger. It's a fucking piece of charcoal between two fucking buns. The moment this food was here, I took out my credit card. I gave it to this lady. I was like, just pay for everything. Just, I got to get out of here. If we try to split this check, you know how long we're going to be here? We'll be here till Thursday. So I just gave her my card. And I'm like, put everything on here. So, I had this experience, and I paid $200 for it. GCW. Boy, howdy. That was uh, absolutely insane. Blood, fluorescent gas all over the uh, arena there. Went to the sweet party where John Tab Somerville was there once again. Told him I would try some of his moonshine. What a stupid idea this was. <laughs> One shot of that, and I was done for the night. AEW double or nothing. Which I believe may still be going on as we are talking. He does the airplane taunt flying around the ring, mocking those who may or may not have reported on an airplane ticket being purchased. He was structured out in the most comical manner possible. They're like giving oxygen to his eyeballs. Jeff is, uh, he's a wreck. So you're not going to be seeing yeah. him wrestling for a while. This match was awesome. Mm -hmm. I thought bell to bell was the best thing in the show. I don't want to say the whole tournament was a letdown. But I certainly expected a much better tournament. I thought yeah. people would be getting more time. I thought there would be better matches. Best part of either tournament was Martha coming out to congratulate the winners. There's nothing to analyze here. There was complete insanity everywhere you looked. This Moxley bloke, this fucker's the real deal. I'm watching him brawl out there at ringside, and it's like, this is a legitimate lunatic. Yes. Like five feet from me, fucking trying to kill folks here. And he climbs up onto these ropes, and man, he's strutting, and he walks forward, and he walks back, and he's strutting, and then he gets to the middle, and he turns, and he looks right at Jungle Boy's mom, and he's like, ah? A very, very good match. Punk joking about the fucking buckshot lariat. FTR comes out to celebrate. He asks them, please don't ever let me try that again. Dave's first question is about the buckshot, and Punk is like, I know this one ain't getting five stars. I'm definitely sick. Mm. How are you feeling? Much better. I'll be good. I can get through a podcast. It's not like it's a real job. Hopefully nobody listening to this gets COVID from, from watching the show or listening. That would be news. Let it be known that his first hot tag as AEW World Champion was horrible. First thing he did was fuck up a springboard clothesline and fall on his ass. 
Everything he was doing with the Ass Boys looked terrible. And out comes the ace. It's Hiroshi Tanahashi. And I'm on the West Coast, which means I get the not live version. And so the last, I don't know, 30 seconds of this was bleeped out. Well, what he did was he called Tony Khan a fucking mark. Oh! What'd you think, Vinny? I thought it was great. I know you and or Dave, I don't know if it was one of you or both of you, but concerned that he was uh, burying the company and getting cheered for it. Right? Is that fair to say that one of you? Well, he did bury the company and he did get cheered for it. That's right. That happened. And it doesn't mean they don't like most of the, the folks that have brought in from WWE. But what it does tell you is they have thought of that and they agree with MJF. And once you start agreeing with the heel, then the heel's a baby face. I will like to see what the follow-up is. But I do have some concerns. It doesn't mean I thought it was a bad promo. The mystery opponent turns out to be Miro. And then I believe he said he was going to go to heaven and find God and depose him and take over heaven. And I believe Jim Ross said Wardlow has bowled six 300 games. That's what he said. I was like, what? Is Wardlow pursuing the right professional sport? Uh, no. Wardlow's follow-up is he's, he's feeding with geeks. Punk's follow-up is he comes out as champion and it looks like crap. Hangman's follow-up is he disappears. He's not on the show at all. Cole's follow-up is he comes out and can't wrestle, which he's hurt. That's not really their fault. But Britt's follow-up is coming out after the tournament and getting pinned. The Bucks follow-up to getting pinned to the paper who is apparently getting next in line for a title shot. There's a lot here I did not like about... They, they rendered so much of the pay-per-view irrelevant on this show. Elton Prince sold a chop by jumping straight up into the air. <laughs> what a name, by the way. Elton Prince. That's a perfect name. Elton Prince and yes. Kit, Kit Wilson. <laughs> Kit Wilson. Beautiful names for Pretty Deadly. Electa Lopez versus Cora Jade. This sucked. This was so bad. Yeah. They played Joe Gacy's laugh on a speaker and turned the lights on and off. <laughs> yeah. And this sent him into a blind rage! And he grabs oh, uh, a TV, and he's about to smash it and lose his temper. Mm -hmm. But then he calms down, and he puts the TV down. Because, in fact, he can control his temper. Yes. I'm like, is this the shittiest booking of any feud in all of 2022? Cora Jade, your life is as exciting as a cardboard box. <laughs> Dude, it's not even the lines. It's her delivery of these I lines. I laughed so hard. She is second. so great at this character. She's going to go to Chase You. The fucking back and forth between Chase You's celebration and then her celebrating. I laughed and laughed and I laughed. Did. And the funny thing is how many people I saw today that were like, oh, my God, Brian, you called it. Great job. You called it. And I'm like, who? Could not see this coming. They had a uh, NXT 1.0 match. Yes. This was the best we've ever seen out of, uh, what's his name? Nathan Frazier. Nathan Frazier. And I have to think the same thing every uh, time. I always think of, uh, like, Viscera's in there. But this was not Viscera. What's his name? Nelson Frazier? Uh, I think it's something like that. Yeah, Nelson yeah. Frazier. Yeah. This is Nathan Frazier. Who not looks Viscera. nothing like Viscera. No, the opposite. All right, everybody. I gotta go. Tired. Yeah.